In this video, we're going to talk about evaluating logarithms. So now we have this new type of function called a log. We want to plug values in and get values out. All right, so make sure you're comfortable with that log definition we just talked about. And again, just a quick review. All right, logs and inverses are, uh, sorry, logs and exponentials are inverses. Bases are the same. This input becomes that output. This output becomes that input. All right. And then Logs are a bit weird because there's this new thing, so kind of reading a log statement um, can be a little confusing. Um, so one way I like to think about it is the exponent of b that gives c is a. So that's how you can read a log left to right, and that is exactly this as it says. It's the exponent of b that gives c is a. So that kind of gets you back and forth between these, but it allows you to read this left to right rather than this kind of circular way of b to the a equals c. All right, so let's evaluate this expression. Log base 2 of 8. We want to know what is this equal to. Let's just call it, I don't like using x because you guys hate that. Let's use another letter. Um, g, why not? Um, so let's just say this was equal to g. Because this is equal to g, we could rewrite it as an exponent expression. 2 to the g equals 8. Maybe I shouldn't use g because it looks like a 9. Let's just go to the classic <laughs> x. All right, 2 to the x equals 8. Um, we're not like going to physically solve this equation. Right now, it's going to be kind of more of a, almost like a guess and check. What exponent should I put in on 2 to get 8? So you could try, what if x equals 2? Then I would have 2 squared. That's 4. Okay, so 2 is not the right answer. I could try 3. I get 2 cubed. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. All right, so 3 is the exponent I want. So this is actually equal to 3. And again, you can always check yourself, 2 cubed equals 8. All right, so you just kind of figure out what exponent do I put on that base to get that thing in parentheses. All right, 3 to the what equals 81. 3 to the what equals 81. And again, right now, I'm fine if you're just doing a little bit of guess and check, just making sure you double check your answer. Um, could I try 1? 3 to the first is 3. That doesn't work. I could try 2. 3 squared is 9. That doesn't work. Try 3, 27, I can try 4, 81. And then I get exactly what I want. This exponent here that I'm looking for has to be 4. So 3 to the 4th equals 81. I right, can just go through some a little bit quicker. Um, 4 to the what equals 16. Um, 4 squared equals 16. 5 to the what equals 25. So the most common wrong answer that I would see students make for this is saying the answer is 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. Remember, we're not doing um, multiplication. You're doing exponents, and 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So the answer is 2. And log base 10 is of 10,000. What is this going to be? How many times do I have to multiply 10 by itself to get 10,000? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, this answer is 4. 10 is nice, you just count the zeros. Right, so 10 to the fourth is 10,000. Right, so here's one for you to try on your own. All right, evaluate this logarithm expression, log base 2 of 32. All right, I'll show you the answer in 3, 2, 1. It's 5. And again, how do I know it's 5? I know 2 to the fifth, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 2 to the fifth is 32. All right, so remember, log base b of c is equal to the exponent that you would put on b to get c. So again, the most common mistake is thinking about multiplication. I mean, exponents deal with multiplication, but just putting in the answer. So I see a lot of people put like log base 2 of 8 equals 4, because 2 times 4 equals 8, but that's not what we want. We want the exponent, which we've actually already seen this problem, log base 2 of 8 equals 3, because 2 cubed equals 8. All right, so remember, you're thinking about exponents, which use multiplication. Um, but that's not like what the answer is. Right, so just be careful with that. Always double check your answer that 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the 4th is 16, so that's why that one's not right. 